Okay, we're going to go through example problem um, 1735 on page 1740 of your book. And by what we're doing is we're looking at job costing with a predetermined factory overhead rate. Uh, as you can see, I have set up the jobs that are talked about in the problem. Uh, we have job 522, which had a beginning and balance of 5640. 5, I'm just going to round, I'm rounding off the millions. Uh, job 523 is 2400 okay so now we need to take care of our, our goal is to determine what our work and process balance and we'll also have determined the amount per each job this is on a job costing basis so the first thing we need to do is we're we, in the problem there we are given some additional information under the direct materials we have nothing no more direct materials for job 522 we have on job 523 we have added three million more materials. We started job 524 and that job took 12,900,000. And then finally we also started job 525 which started 9,600,000. Next we want to move to our direct labor hours and under our direct labor hours in the problem we incurred on job 522 an additional three million six hundred thousand of direct labor cost on job 523 we incurred nine million six hundred thousand on job 524 14 million four hundred thousand and finally on job 525 we incurred 12 million of additional cost. So that's going to bring us to our overhead. So we are using a predetermined overhead rate and the problem states that we are using applying manufacturing overhead at the rate of six dollars per direct labor hour. Okay so we need to calculate for each job the number of direct labor hours that we have. So let's start with the first one. On job 522 we had 300,000 hours. So we're going to take, let's do a little formula there, start with an equals. We're going to go 300 since I'm rounding into, I'm rounding into millions here, or into thousands, I'm sorry. So we're going to take our 300 times, not our direct rate, not our direct labor hour rate where we're paying the workers, but our direct labor overhead application rate, which is $6 per direct labor hour. So it's going to be 300 times 6, or 1,800,000. Okay. Next we go to job 523, and we had 800,000 hours times our $6 rate. This is 4,800. Job 524, we have 1,000,000. Two. Okay, and finally, oops, 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 one too many zeros there. Times our six dollar rate, and then finally, our last overhead rate is we're going to have thousand times. Are six dollars per hour and as in all Excel formulas it helps if you put the equal sign in them. okay so there we have it our total job costs then we had eleven million forty thousand or in this case eleven thousand forty for job 522 19 8 for 523 34 5 for 524 and also 27 6 for job 525 all the only job open we've completed jobs 522 523 524 so this mount those three jobs the 11040 19800 and the 345 will be transferred out of work in process and into finished goods inventory so at that point we would close the job out of work in process and we would then sell it or if it were a sale or apply it for the for the revenue so the only thing remaining in job in our uh, working process account is going to be job 525 
and with an ending balance of 27,600. That will be our beginning balance for the next time. And that is it. We could then do a work in process which would just add up the uh, direct material. We'd start with our beginning balance, what was in there, which would be the 5640, the beginning balance of 1240 for jobs, uh, 522 and 523. We'd add our current manufacturing costs which would be our direct material, so we total all those up. We total up our direct labor hour cost and our overhead cost. That would be our total cost and process, transfer out our goods uh, that we completed, and then give us an earning balance of 27.6. So that is how we do um, with job costing and a predetermined application rate.